Hi, Grace Rizza here, and it appears that with the influx of automation, bulk messaging, and digital marketing, email has become the most dreadful form of communication. It's synonymous with work in the eyes of so many people. And really to interrupt the workflow of your patients is a bold move. So if you're going to engage in email marketing, you've got to know how to do it right and do it in a way that you're providing value, benefit, and a service to your patients and your prospective patients. So here are just a few quick tips to help you make the most of email marketing. And one thing I want to say is, although email marketing is, is kind of dying, it's not dead. It's still a very valuable platform and an important place to be. So the first thing is don't overdo it. Giving weekly or um, bi-weekly or daily emails can overwhelm your audience, annoy them, and there's nothing that will cause them to opt out quicker. So stick to monthly or quarterly messages and you'll see that people actually begin to look forward to your content. Um, next, consider utilizing video messaging. So just as I'm coming you, to you today with a video, you'll be able to do the same in your email marketing. You can have an image that looks like a video with a video play button. And when they click on that image, it opens your video in a new window. This is an exciting way to get your content to stand out. And when you do have click throughs, you'll be able to connect on a deeper level. Next, make sure you're always sharing value. If your content is self-serving and it's all about you and all about your service offerings, people will tune out pretty quickly. But if you're providing value and useful information, again, people will look forward to your messages. Um, make sure that your content is visually interesting. Um, there's nothing that appears more cumbersome or kind of annoying than opening up an email and seeing 20 paragraphs of just words on paper. Make sure you've got images, use bullet points, and know that people wanna be able to skim your content and know what it is you're communicating about and pick up on your main topics. So keep it interesting. Next, make sure you have a grabbing subject line and grabbing headlines. People do not want to open boring messages. You've gotta pique their interest and keep them wanting more. Um, and the very last tip I have for you today is to consider a drip campaign. This is when you plan sequential emails so that people look forward to your next message. You're able to kind of leave them wanting more and utilize a little bit of a cliffhanger. This can get people following you and again, excited to see your next message. I hope you found this information helpful and if you ever need help making your content more creating or exciting, I'm here for you. Have a great day.